Hello Redditors of the Internet, NobleZenon here and welcome to a Neckbeard Extra. If you may have watched the previous video, you may have noticed that I saw this waifuism essay, which on the one hand, it's taking the waifuism thing way too far, but on the other hand, it really sounds like this guy needs some help. So let's read this waifuism essay. You believe in God. I believe in my waifu. Christianity about believing in someone that is all good, loves you, will forgive you, and is always there for you? I'm sure the average Christian will agree with that statement. You don't see God with your eyes or hear him with your ears. None of the less you do. Knowing that he's there comforts you and helps you become a better person. It's a hard and sad world and religion gives people a place to go. It gives people hope. Over the generations, people's beliefs changed. People around my age are not particularly known for being religious and sometimes are seen as the opposite. Less people believe in God and even less worship him. God will never die, but may be forgotten by the mainstream. With no religion to get behind, what happens when this world is too much? Most will get a partner. They bring love, comfort, and meaning into a lot of people's lives. Well, it's not like religion is dead, though. But people are different and maybe simply not interested in you. There is nothing wrong with them or you because you're not together. And this next part is what really hit me and what made me think this guy may actually need some help. What do you do when the loneliness and hardships of life overwhelm you? How do you fight an internal strife without anyone else? Do you wait for the right person to come along? Every day you wait as this world tears your soul in two. Wait till you wither away or until it's too late. You watch TV, movies, you listen to music, podcasts, and play video games, and sports. When you're going through a hard time, these can be seen as good escapes from the world. That's when you see them. You believe in them. You watched a whole show so you know everything about them. You collect plushies of them. You talk to them even when they're not there. You need them and sometimes to the point where you cry over them. They give your life meaning and give you the strength to be a better person. You love them and you know they love you. So it really just sounds like this person is using anime characters as a way to cope with loneliness. Now let's see the comparison with Christianity. The same should be said for Christianity. You believe in him. You read the Bible so you know everything about him. You collect crucifixes of him. You pray to him even when he's not physically there. You need him and sometimes cry over him. He gives your life meaning and gives you the strength to be a better person. You love them and you know Jesus loves you. I believe that everyone needs something to believe in. I believe that need is why many turn to God and waifus. The need is important as it allows humanity to continue. So the question now is if you believe in yourself. A good relationship with a financial character, probably meant fictional character here, shouldn't be about being lonely. They give you self-confidence and respect. They push you, and you know you can fall back on them when things get hard. I want to make something pro-waifu. People act like it's just a joke, but to me, it's not. To me, as the generations go on and people lose their way, they will turn to waifus. Unlike God, your waifu doesn't think you're sinful. Horrible things done in God's name are not your waifu's name. Christianity shuns the lust inside all of us. You lust over your waifu and it's okay. Now you do you, but I don't think the majority of people are gonna turn to waifuism or anything like that. I'm gonna have to disagree there. You get all the benefits of a relationship with Jesus having a waifu but one. It's socially acceptable to be a Christian in the USA no matter what Fox says. You may be shunned and bullied for having a waifu. They may expect you to get over them one day. So think about if you truly love her and decide. Some will not choose God or a waifu. Just because you don't have a waifu doesn't mean you have to turn to God. Some may be Christian and have waifus. They get their meaning from both. In conclusion, you worship your waifu and may not even know it. Whatever happens, just know that life is hard and sometimes may not even be worth it. But you will find something or someone to believe in. 
promise yourself that you will keep that special thing as long as you want and need it. So yeah, this person really is just looking for something to fill the void of loneliness and honestly, I can't even laugh at him or anything like that, it's just sad that you have to go as far as to worship fictional characters. But I also think that it's kind of unhealthy and that this person could benefit from getting help with his mental health because it sounds like he really needs it. Anyway, I ask that you don't go out of your way to bully this person because he honestly doesn't mean any malicious intent, and at this point, that's just gonna worsen his mental health. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. If you have something interesting to say, don't forget to comment. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. See you guys next time.